In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the animation timing with slices. To learn more about the basics of adding slices to a layer, watch the slices tutorial on the Photopia website under Support, Tutorials, Photopia Director. With the basic rectangle slices applied to a layer, you can see a drop down menu for animation timing. These settings only apply to animations on keyframes for all slices as a single unit, not for individual slices. If we move our slices layer up off screen on its first keyframe and keep it center screen on its second keyframe, all of the slices move as a single unit, making the slices essentially invisible. But if we go back to the slicing tab and change the order, to right bottom to top left and play it back, you'll see that the position keyframes that we added to the slices as a whole are now being applied to each individual slice in the order that we selected from the drop down menu, the bottom right all the way to the top left. Each slice starts its motion right after the previous one has ended its motion. To create some overlap so that the next slice comes on screen before the previous one has stopped, add a slight overlap value here. You can change the start and end of the animation here. For example, making the end offset a smaller number than the total slide time will make the slices end their animation with enough time for your audience to see the whole image before it transitions into the next slide. You can use animation timing for more attributes than just position. You can use it for zoom, rotation, opacity, color adjustments. In fact, you can use these settings for just about everything in the Animations tab.